In this video, I'm going to show you how to graph another absolute value of a linear function. Now, we're going to take a look at y equals the absolute value of negative x minus 4. And then we're also going to take a look at how to find the domain and range, and then also express the function as a piecewise. Now, if you watch my other videos, I actually um, liked graphing the line first instead of using a table of values. So I'm going to rewrite the absolute value function without the absolute values. And this will be y equals negative x minus 4. So we're going to graph this line here, and we have a y-intercept of negative 4, which we'll plot down here, and then our slope is negative 1 over 1. So we're going to plot a series of points as far as we can go of negative 1. Okay, and then we're going to join these points together only if it's above the x-axis, because remember, when we actually graph the absolute, the value has to be positive. So we're going to graph, oh, that's not a good line. So we're going to connect all of these points together. That's above the x-axis. And then the points that are below the x-axis, such as negative 4, a y value of negative 4 will then become positive 4. So we're going to plot that up here. And then negative 3 will become positive 3, and so on. So when we're done, we're going to connect, we're going to have our original points from here, from the original line, and then we're going to have these new points that were reflected from below the x-axis. And this is red line, or this red V, is now our absolute value. Now to find the domain, we can see that in the x, the negative x, and the positive x direction, it goes on and on forever. So we can say that the x value is all real numbers. And the range, the smallest y value, is y equal to 0. And then the rest of the graph points upward. So we can say that y is greater or equal to 0. Now to express this function as a piecewise, we're going to write y equals, and then we're going to draw a big curly bracket to fit two pieces. And let's start off with the first piece, which was our original line. And we can see that's going to be negative x minus 4. So this line here, this left side, this will occur when x is less than negative 4 or equal to negative 4, because that's kind of where that that is actually where our vertex is. So this is occurs when x is less than or equal to negative 4. Now the right piece, the second piece, this line here with a positive slope, that occurs when x is greater than negative 4. Now what we can do is we can read this from the graph that we have a y-intercept of 4 and a slope of positive 1. Now if we take a look at our original function, negative x minus 4, we can actually see that that's going to be the negative of that function. So when I do that, I'm going to get positive x plus 4, which actually is this right, um, sorry, the line on the right with a positive slope. So my second piece will be x plus 4, and that occurs when x is greater or equal, oh, sorry, not equal, because I've already chosen the first part to equal, so we're, we don't write that again. So then we say that x is greater than negative 4, and then that's it.